At halftime, Blue Valley Stillwell leading Liberal 10 to 7. Ken Dean along with Alan Haskell in the play-by-play -play and color commentary here on KUPK TV. We're glad to have you along. Don't forget this afternoon at around 2 o'clock, we'll be back with the 6A state championship game between Garden City and Lawrence in a rematch from last year's title, the Lions and the Buffaloes in a 9 to 6 decision last year by Lawrence. But the Buffaloes think they're ready this year. They outgained them last year, but when it got down inside the 20, they came up short and uh, sort of had that on their minds this year. Liberal having a fine season, Alan, and uh, the way to cap it off now will be come back in the second half and maybe overcome that last second field goal by uh, Blue Valley's Mike Ross and get back in this ball game with a little bit of momentum. That's what we said, Ken. Uh, they had the uh, momentum, uh, Blue Valley, as it ended, but uh, one bounce of the ball in a different direction can change that in a hurry. Hans Krugfeld to kick off as the sun comes out. The ball fielded at the 5, out to the 15, down to the 20-yard line. So first and 10, Blue Valley at the 20. As the sun begins to peek out at Wagner Field at KSU Stadium in Manhattan, following about 4 inches of snow last evening. It ended around 8, 8.30, and it is still awfully chilly today, even though the sun now has peaked out and the wind still blowing. The wind chill factor around 10, 15 degrees, perhaps uh, lower on occasion but the field uh, in pretty good shape following that snow from last evening. There you see the return by Blue Valley. The ball fumbled it around the five. They pick it up and get out first and 10 at the 20. And we're underway now in the second half. Blue Valley at their own 20 yard line at quarterback Brian Schottenheimer. He wants to pass. No, now we have a penalty before the snap. Schottenheimer was going to hand off to Alan Murray who had a big first half and illegal procedure called against Blue Valley. In the first half, Murray, 16 attempts for 105 yards. That could be a pretty good game for almost anybody. Yes, uh, them pretty good stats, and the liberal defense, once again, has got to uh, keep the perimeter being used against them, and that's where uh, all the rushing yardage, the big rushing yardage, is coming against the liberal. Do they go to Murray a lot? Yes. They had 17 rushes in the first half. Murray had 16. Not a good way for Steve Rampey's Tigers to start. A penalty. It's first and 15. Murray right side. No Schottenheimer going to throw. Complete. And a fumble recovered by Liberal. Now they're saying incomplete pass. Pass incomplete. Never, never a reception. And it'll be third down and 15. Let's see if it really was that way, yes, Alan. That's definitely a judgment call on the official. You know, it happens real quick. Uh, well, I don't believe he, no, he didn't ever have control of it. So it's a good call on the official's part. It, it would have been a good break for Liberal. Bad angle from our point of view, Mike Bush, the intended receiver. That would have been a major big play in this ball game. Third or second down and 15. Blue Valley now backed up to their own 15 yard line. Schottenheimer again, as he's done all game, a long count from center. Hands off Murray left side, and he'll get back to the 15-yard line. That is the line of scrimmage, and nothing more than that. Again, great pursuit by Liberal. Uh, can I can't believe uh, Schottenheimer used an audible at that time. Uh, he saw something in the line of scrimmage that he thought that play would work, but uh, the defensive line did a great job of uh, stopping the play. Mike Stegman, Chris Brown defensively for Liberal. So it is early, Alan, but this is probably a big play for Blue Valley. Yes, uh, it, you're back there on your own 15-yard line with uh, third down to go and uh, 15 yards, and uh, it is a big play. Schottenheimer, hands off, no, he'll pass, throwing, and it is complete, and it'll be a first and 10 for Blue Valley. Pass caught by 93, Ryan Sherwood. Once again, uh, Ken, uh, the two receivers outside are driving the defensive back to back. You'll see the tight end on the right side. He just runs a flare route. A uh, little longer drop this time, but a, a seven-step drop. Hits the tight end in the flat, and it turns into a nice game. So the big play goes in favor of Blue Valley. They get the first and 10 at the 33-yard line. 10-20 to play, third quarter. And the Tigers with a three-point advantage. Now two backs in the backfield. It'll be Murray on the left side. Now he cuts it back in, and he'll get a couple. 
I believe, Ken, that's the first time we've seen all afternoon where they've lined up the two backs in the backfield, and uh, it was a cutback type play to the uh, left halfback. Jason McAfee leading the tackle for Liberal. In with the play, it'll be Mike Collell, wide receiver. Again, uh, Josh Swift has been the key man in the first half for Schottenheimer as a receiver, but moments ago, Ryan Sherwood, the big tight end, almost 200 pounds with the reception and the first down. Second and eight. Schottenheimer, left side. No, he'll throw, and it's complete. And it'll be a first and 10 for Blue Valley. Pass completed to number 33, Mike Bush, the other tight end. And the tackle believe was made by the uh, safety, uh, Justin Cornelson. Uh, play action, and I believe liberal defensive secondary was in a, a man uh, defense, and, and uh, that was Chris Brown that makes the play instead, Justin Cornelson. Boy, Schottenheimer has a great arm. He's had time to throw all day, and he's got some great targets to pull that ball down. First and 10. Blue Valley from their own 44-yard line. Now Murray alone in the backfield. Long count this time. And no gain on the play by Murray. Well, that's the uh, single back power sweep that was successful the first half. And the defensive team from uh, Liberal is, uh, I believe, has got it snuffed out this half. Sonny Hale and Mike Segman making the stop. And Ryan Rhodes in there quickly. So it'll be second down, 13. We have 8.50 to play in the third quarter. And an official's timeout for a moment. May have been a, a mouthpiece or something there. They got it corrected and we're set to go. Second down and 12. Now Murray in the backfield. Had almost every carry for Blue Valley in the first half. Schottenheimer has to scramble, throws, and it is incomplete. He had two men open. The ball really could have been caught by Blue Valley. The, the Redskin defense was there, but uh, behind the play, we'll see it again. Well, initially, he's looking for the wide out to uh, go on a streak route, but uh, I don't know if they had a uh, Miss McKinney, um, uh, foul up in language there or what, but uh, if you can see at the right screen, he's ready to throw the ball and the receiver's not looking. And uh, so he checks off to his secondary receiver. If we see two different views there, we saw the reverse angle first and now the way you saw it earlier. And each time Blue Valley there, but couldn't pull it down. So again, a big play, third down and 13. Schottenheimer dropping back to pass. Now he has to scramble. Looking to throw and it is complete. And it'll be just short of the first and 10. They spot him at the 47. He had to get to the 46-yard line. And again, the big tight end, Ryan Sherwood. Well, one thing we're seeing this half, even though Blue Valley still have success, they're putting some pressure on him uh, when he takes the seven-step drop for the rollouts. And it's a good uh, play on uh, Schottenheimer to find the open receiver. And like you said, he's going to the big tight end. And it'll be interesting to see what they do at this time. Um, fourth and a yard, Blue Valley will go for it at the liberal 47-yard line, and you probably have to thank a uh, quarterback sneak on a quick count. Schottenheimer, he'll give it to Murray, and he'll have the first down. May have been a fumble. like the uh, liberal coaching staff felt like they may have had a fumble recovery, but they'll say first and 10, Blue Valley. Yes, Coach Cornelson over the sideline got a little excited. It's just a wing eye formation, and they just run the power. You haven't seen that formation much. And I don't know, the ball looked like it might have hit the turf before uh, his knee was down. If it's, simul if it's simultaneous, is it a fumble? Well, uh, let's look at this right here. Let's see. This is the reverse angle. And okay, his knee's down. That's pretty the, close, so it might not have been. Looks uh, like the knee was down and then the fumble, but it happened so quick. It happened a lot quicker than slow motion. <laughs> it's easy for us to sit up here and look at it two or three times and make that decision. First and 10, Blue Valley at the liberal 44-yard line. Schottenheimer wants to throw. He'll have to run, and now throws it away. There was no receiver in the area. A flag 
head goes down. Now, is it an intentional grounding penalty against Blue Valley, or is it roughing the passer against Liberal? And I think we're going to see that it's intentional grounding. Uh, there's nobody even close. It is intentional grounding against Blue Valley Stillwell. As you can see, Alan, no receiver in the area to the Liberal sideline. No receiver. And once again, we're start, our Liberal is starting to put a little bit of pressure on them. So they'll lose five yards from the spot of the pass, and it'll also be loss of down. So a major, major penalty against Blue Valley Stillwell. So from the spot of the pass, that could be uh, a 10, 15 yard penalty anyway, and then five more yards, and then loss of down. It wasn't a real good decision on uh, Brian's part that time. He should have stayed the ball. It's kind of like scolding your three-year-old twice for coming in the ball with friends. I would put that as a pretty good example. So second down and a long way for Blue Valley. Way back now at their own 39-yard line. Schottenheimer, maybe he'll dump it off for a short one. Murray, and it, it is incomplete. So it'll be third down and about a half a mile for Blue Valley. And the sun will come out. I think one thing that we're seeing right now, early in the uh, first half or through the first half, the size advantage of the offensive line for Blue Valley was dominating the game. Uh, I believe the team speed that Liberal possesses on defense is starting to uh, be a factor at this time. So third down and 27. The last time we had third long by Liberal, they punted. Third down, 27. Blue Valley at their own 39-yard line. They lead it 13, or seven, rather 10 to seven, here in the third quarter. Now again, a long count by Schottenheimer. They'll give to Murray, and he'll get nowhere, and it'll be fourth down and long, and Blue Valley will be forced to punt. And Liberal, with 7.40 to play in the third quarter, will finally get the ball in the second half. Well, Ken, uh, Liberal was uh, fairly fortunate that they ran the ball at that time because they sent somebody in motion and there was confusion back in the secondary. So on fourth and 26, Blue Valley will have to punt from their own 40-yard line. A good rush and it'll be a low kick and it'll go out of bounds and Liberal with great field position to begin their third quarter series of downs. Well, can uh, Mike Stegman put good pressure at that time to cause a bad punt? 7.20 to go, a third quarter, we'll take a break. Our score, 10-7, Blue Valley up by three on KUPK-TV. On the prairie, one thing stands out above the rest, Southwest Medical Center, the most modern medical facility in western Kansas. From the moment of admission to the time of discharge, 7.20 left to play a third quarter, and for the first time in the second half, Liberal has the ball on offense. Brown, hands off, right side, LaVon Madden. LeVon to the 40, and he's going to, no, he doesn't go down. He'll get about four yards. Great job by LeVon Madden, missing two or three tackles, and then finally knocked out of bounds by Jason Brown, the big defensive end for Blue Valley. Ken, uh, Blue Valley does a good job uh, initially having the play stop, but you got to tackle. Just being there is one thing, but you got to bring the man down, and from here on out, it's all LeVon uh, saving a loss into a 45-yard gain. You can see with the way Liberal runs their backfield, the hesitation on defense by Blue Valley to try to find the guy who has the ball. Second down and six. This time it is David Garman. No, a keep by Brown, and he'll be close to a first down. It'll be third and short for Liberal at midfield. Brought down by Alan Murray and also Mike Wood. Third and about a yard. Chris Brown, and like I said, is one of the best option, if not the best option quarterback that Liberal's had since uh, the late 70s. You've got to tackle him. you got to wrap up and keep your feet moving, and you find your job breaking the tackle. Third in the yard at midfield. Brown hands off Madden, and he's got the first down. He fell at the 50 and wound up at the 47-yard line. That was a good fall for three yards. Uh, any positive gain, any way you can get it is uh, what you always look for. And LeVon upset, as you can see, he didn't get more. But he got the first down, and that was important. And once again, it's the play that uh, has been successful for Liberal Dolphins throughout the game, and you're going to go to the well until it dries out. Well, speaking of going to the well, 
Chris Brown has handed off or carried the ball almost the entire game. Are we ready for a long pass yet? Well, we'll see. Hand off gar left side. That is Cunningham. And Cunningham out of bounds after a gain of seven. Again, a good look at the fans up today from Southwest Kansas. I understand a few Garden City fans over there as well rooting on the Redskin contingent today. It wasn't a very pleasant drive uh, once they got up around Salina yesterday all the way over on I-70. The weather has cleared today and despite the cold, it is a good day for football. Handoff to Jason Dunlap and it looks like Jason will have a first and 10 for a One play that has been successful throughout the year, just the uh, ISO or the lead play. Uh, we haven't seen much of it this afternoon. Uh, Jason Dunlap has an excellent uh, eye for where the holes are. And you want another, uh, once again, it's another running back that you've got to wrap up because look at his legs keep turning, turning, and they finally got to hold his legs to bring him down. First and 10, liberal. 37-yard line of Blue Valley. Brown keeps it. Cut. Nice cut. He'll get five, six, seven more yards because of the cut, but a penalty flag on the play. They're pointing at the flag and looking back at Liberal. So, again, possibly a holding or a clip against the Redskins. An illegal block against liberal so again for the third time today a long run a first down carry by the quarterback or madden and it's called back because of a liberal penalty you can't keep doing those things to yourself you're controlling the ball game really with uh, the, the offense is moving the ball and uh, once again like you stated they've hurt themselves uh, the play was the bootleg action type situation illegal block on the offense 15 yards replay the down Liberal in the playoffs beat Arc City 28 to 20 and Newton 36 to 10. There you see the penalty already today. It's about to even out, uh, well, not even out. Uh, Liberal leading the, in that category two to one and not the best category to lead in. Blue Valley in the playoffs beat Pittsburgh 10 to seven. And then that great comeback last week beating Highland Park 28 to six. Handoff Madden. Mad to the outside, looking for blocks. He may go. The 30, the 20, the 10, and out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Ken, that was just a great run by LeVon. Uh, we come back to the same situation we talked about early. Being there is one thing defensively, but you got to wrap up. Uh, Blue Valley really didn't do a bad job of being in position. You can see on the replay the handoff to LeVon. They string it out. One missed tackle there. Cuts back. Got to give him credit for seeing the hole. And now it's time for the speed to be turned on. And if it wasn't his own man, we, he, he might have went the whole distance. Great pursuit by Mike Pallel. Left side, Brown, hands off. No, he'll keep. Oh, he did hand off. And we have a loss on the play by the Redskins. On the carry, it was David Garman. So again, a long run by LeVon Bess. And the Redskins are in pretty good shape to A, tie it up, or B, go ahead to the TD. Second down and goal to go at the seven for Liberal. Chris Brown, he'll keep, cuts it up inside the five, down to the three. And Chris Brown wraps up the ball, and it'll be third and goal near the three for the Redskins. But I guess as a coach, you're not thinking about a field goal at this point, are you? No, you, you want to get to seven if you can. There's no doubt about that. We see the base option. But if you notice, uh, we're, or the offensive tight end is hooking the end. That, that's design of design play for the quarterback to keep the ball. Liberal comes out. It should be a quick snap. It is Brown. Hands off. No, he'll keep. And he, I don't think he was tackled. I think he fell over a Blue Valley defender and it'll bring up fourth down and about two the ball right near midfield and a timeout will be called by the Redskins so a timeout 318 to play third quarter from Wagner Field in Manhattan it is 10-7 Blue Valley live on KUPK TV 
First National Bank of Liberal has been a financial leader for the past 91 years because they've worked at it. The First National Bank is your only bank in Liberal with a full-service trust department. Their preferred lender status with the Small Business Administration allows the First National Bank to offer the very best in quality banking. Their personal and professional leadership is designed to help each customer with their financial demands. Serving the individual and business community of Southwest Kansas, the First National Bank of Liberal. Utilizing technologically advanced orthopedic equipment provided by the Southwest Medical Center, Dr. J.E. Harrington offers full... Big decision in the ball game. Head coach Gary Cornelson takes a timeout for Liberal as they ponder over going for it on fourth down and two. It's fourth and goal at the two. Liberal trying to take the lead. They trail 10-7. It is fourth down, and they're going to go for it. Chris Brown hands off to LeVon Madden, and it is a Liberal touchdown. So it is a good call by Gary Cornelson, and the Redskins take the lead. Excellent call by Gary. Uh, I think they were feeling like it was going to be an option play to the right side of the field, and you come back to the slot reverse, which has been an excellent play all day long. The Redskins now with something more to cheer about as they regain the lead. Here you see the handoff to Madden, and boy, he was determined. Great blocking by Liberal. And now Hans Fruchtfeld on the extra point. The kick is on the way. Might have been partially blocked, but it is good. A timeout, 3.15 to play. Third quarter, and Liberal regains the lead by the score of 14 to 10. The touchdown set up by LeVon Madden on the 41-yard run to get Liberal down first and goal. And on fourth and two, Madden around the left side for the TD. See the fake to the fullback. Just what they've been running out of. A little bit different set. They went to the uh, wide slot instead of the tight slot where the tight end is in. They split through X receiver, which is the uh, weak side in, out, and uh, gave Blue Valley a different look, but came back with the same play, same type of blocking. Target Kansas is the chemical health program of the Kansas State High School Activities Association. Its purpose is to educate students toward a healthier lifestyle while understanding the serious consequences of alcohol and other drugs. Target Kansas assists schools with their alcohol and drug education programs. To help, contact Target Kansas. Call 913-235-9201. And the kickoff by Liberal. The return out to the 20. 25, 27-yard line, taken back by Mike Colell for Blue Valley Stillwell. So here's the uh, return. Uh, initially, he muffed the ball a little bit, but did gain control of it. By this time, his block is starting to break down. And you can see 74 there. Uh, in position, make the play, doesn't make it. Good cut by... Uh, 31, Mike Coel, uh, to get additional seven, eight yards out of the return. So we'll see how Blue Valley plays it now. Trailing 14 to 10, 2.45 to play. We're in the third quarter. Blue Valley will have the wind in the fourth quarter. Schottenheimer wants to throw and nearly intercepted, and it is caught by Blue Valley. I think, what a catch. What a bang-bang play in the... Again, the Blue Valley players slow to get up. We'll have a look at it one more time. Well, like you said, Ken, it was nearly a dangerous pass, a uh, little tighter coverage that time. Uh, excellent reception uh, after the near miss interception. There you see, almost picked off and then caught by Blue Valley. So a big play, but the player is Matt Vandry. Boy, what a catch to get caught like that and then come up with the reception and nearly picked off by Liberal as you pointed out, Alan. Yes, uh, looking at the injury, you don't like any type of injury, uh, but uh, even more so they're looking at the uh, knee area. It may be on lower than that, and, and that's not a good sign. Hopefully that he's uh, okay. And that was the play where it could go either way. If we get the interception, Liberal does. Uh, he may go all the way for a touchdown. And, of course, if Vandry gets it, there's nobody behind him. So what a dangerous play by the defender. And you got to be there to make the play. It's been that way all day. I can see the Redskin defenders getting a little bit closer 
to the receivers and almost able to come up with one there. Yes, so, you know, you go into the game, you tell your squad every every uh, evening or every afternoon that you play that uh, there is going to be four to five big plays in a game, and any one of those can turn the complexion of a game around. It was Matt Vandery who was the holder on the field goal, so he held that one for Mike Ross at the end of the first half. And it's been... 10-7 the entire way until 3.15 to play in the third quarter. And Liberal has now taken the lead following a two-yard touchdown run by LeVon Madden, and they lead it 14-10. So it was a completed pass, but Vandery comes off injured. Second down and six, Blue Valley, and they jump offside. Well, uh, what uh, Blue Valley can't do now, right now is lose their composure. And like you said last week, they've been down 26 to nothing. Uh, going into the last quarter, and, and so from their point of view, they've got to keep their cool, uh, for say, and uh, do the things that's got them here. So a offside penalty at illegal procedure call against the Blue Valley Stillwell. And instead of second and six, it's now second down and 11. So an uh, option here that does open up the defense, perhaps, uh, looking at two options here, uh, a quick screen or a short pass, or that perhaps that draw to Alan Murray, the tough running back for Blue Valley. Schottenheimer, a long call at line of scrimmage. Hand off Murray. He is racked up there at the line of scrimmage and maybe a fumble. No, he scrambles back this way and for no gain. So the liberal defense doing the job late in the third quarter as they're protecting that four-point lead. Ken, right now, Big Mo is over on the liberal sideline, and uh, whether you can maintain it throughout the game will be the question. And there you see Murray, and watch as he goes to the right side and then cuts back this direction. And the Redskins are not fooled this time. Big, strong back that keeps his legs moving, though. That's a mark of a good back. Third and ten. Blue Valley from their own 28, and they trail it now by four, 125 to play, third quarter. Schottenheimer wants to throw, has a man open in the flat, he'll have the pass complete, but not enough for a first and 10. That pass is brought down by Mike Bush, but again, a great job by Chris Brown and others, uh, help over there by Jacob Fitzgerald as well. Well, they're gonna concede the little short out, and as long as they keep it within the first down markers. Uh, the two wide outs drove the safety's deep. They come off their men when the ball is released and come up and make the play. And like you said, they're gonna give them the uh, short yardage. Now we have a timeout taken by a Blue Valley Stillwell. They lined up to kick and they only had 10 players on the field and they were forced to call a timeout. So. Fourth down and about four. Blue Valley from their own 33. 53 seconds to play in the third quarter. And again, as you mentioned, Alan, the momentum now has gone from our sideline over to the liberal sideline on the far side of the field here at Wagner Field at KSU Stadium. And if they can hold them here and get good field position and any more points up on the board, and liberal is in pretty good shape right now, but Blue Valley is a comeback team, proof last week, 28 points in the last nine minutes of that game, and they win by two on a five or a two-yard run, I believe it was, by Brian Schottenheimer with five seconds to play in the game. Well, you want Big Mo going into the fourth quarter, but like I said, uh, you know, one bounce the ball in the opposite direction, it can uh, change for you pretty quick. As we're looking at Coach Gary Cornelson on the sideline, and he's uh, concerned, and that the key right now will be for his offense to move the ball. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for by Chris Brown at the uh, correction by Justin Cornelson. And we have a flag thrown. And he might not have given him enough uh, area to catch the ball. It looked to me like he had plenty of room. It may have been an illegal fair catch sign. I'm not for sure uh, signal, but uh, we'll find out here in a minute. I think he just quick waved one finger. He didn't get him up above his head. And I believe that's what they're discussing at that time. But looking back at though, if it was an illegal fair catch signal and he didn't try to run the ball, then uh, I mean, he downed the ball immediately. Well, uh, uh, he may have put both hands up. I really wasn't concentrating on that area of the uh, play. And uh, well, the officials aren't sure either. It's taking them quite a while. We're growing beards as we wait for the call. So uh, it's a uh, and it's a big call here. All right, we're going to take a look at it right here. Okay, yes, he's got both hands up, and that's an illegal uh, fair 
cat signal, you're only supposed to have one hand clearly above the head, waving it side to side. So I believe that's what's going to be called. Now they're giving the Blue Valley Stillwell captain the option. And uh, I assume it'll be a, a play after the kick. So can Blue Valley even get a first and 10 out of this? Apparently they can. So it was a live ball play, in essence. And so Blue Valley will get a break here. What Cornelson doing all he could to make sure that he was making a fair catch call. And unfortunately, uh, because he puts two hands up rather than one, it becomes an illegal fair catch signal. And so Blue Valley is going to get the football back first and ten. Well, that's a tough break. You know, you don't like uh, something like that to be a factor in the game, whether you're going to win or lose. Uh, but uh, once again, uh, the replay clearly showed that uh, Justin did have both hands up, and uh, I believe that is going to be the call. And that's one of those where the fans look at that and think, well, so what? He has two hands up as opposed to one. But if that is the rule and they have to abide by it, here again we see Cornelson waving both hands. And that right there, folks, is the penalty. He waved two hands rather than one. And so Blue Valley will come back. And they do have a five-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. And it is enough for a first and ten. So Blue Valley has uh, the football back. And uh, one an unusual turn of event or chain of events here is we have the, the punt and the catch. And now first and ten, Blue Valley. I don't know if Coach Cornelson's aware of the rule, but he's not real happy with it at this time. We talked about the big plays that, that are turning points in a game, and we'll see if this is an, a factor, uh, one of those uh, turning points in this game. As head coach Gary Cornelson now begins to stalk the sidelines, he's probably asking for names of officials right about now. <laughs> First down and 10, Blue Valley with a big break, and now both sidelines on their feet. And we got a ball game, 45 seconds to play, third quarter. Liberal leads it 14 to 10. Schottenheimer going for the big one, and it'll go way, way out of bounds, uh, way away from the receiver intended for Mike Colell. Well, I don't know if there's a uh, miscommunication there between the quarterback, uh, Schottenheimer, and Coel, the receiver, but uh, definitely Schottenheimer was throwing the go route, and you saw a, a post-type route by the receiver, Coel. He was throwing the ball where he thought the receiver would be, and Liberal was getting close to an interception there, but of the ball so far overthrown, nobody had a chance for it. Second down and 10, Blue Valley at their own 38-yard line. Now a long count by Schottenheimer. He'll hand off to Murray. Plenty of blocking, but Sch uh, he is stopped after a gain of five, so third down and maybe four or five yards for Blue Valley and Alan Murray. You can see he is a big, big running back. Not necessarily that quick of a, a cutback running back, but the power, once he has those blockers downfield, Alan, no stopping him. There. Yeah, if you can see what they, the Washington Redskins call once again, the counter gap. Uh, Jacob Fitzgerald makes the initial stop, number 44. They do good, uh, Blue Valley does a good job paving everything down, the guard uh, kicking out, and the tackle leading up in the hole. And then uh, Juwan Coleman comes in and finishes the, the tackle of the play. Follow Roger Lund, 250. He's a senior, and that's the end of the third quarter. From Wagner Field, KSU Stadium, Manhattan, Kansas, at the end of three, it's Liberal, 14, Blue Valley, 10, back on KUPK TV. Well, we're set for the fourth quarter of play. Liberal, the only team to score in the third quarter, and they regain the lead, 14 to 10. At this point, doesn't appear to be a, an overtime game. It looked that way early in this contest, but now a four-point differential, and it's going to go down to the wire, and it will be decided probably in regulation. Third down and four, Blue Valley from their own 44-yard line. It'll be Schottenheimer to pass, throwing, and it is incomplete, broken up by Chris Brown, intended, I believe, for Mike Bush, and a big, big play defensively for the Redskins. Well, in the double tight, double wide out, single back offense, Liberal gets into man defense. Chris Brown has him man-to-man -man all the way, breaks on the ball, and just a step away from picking that thing off. So Blue Valley forced to punt, fourth and four at their own 44-yard line. Fours all over the place on the board. 
the left footer. Again, here's the low kick. It'll take a Blue Valley bounce, and they'll get uh, Liberal back at the 18-yard line. First and 10, and the Liberal Redskins now looking for some way to hang on to this football and run some time off the clock the same way that Blue Valley did to begin a third quarter of play. Interscholastic activities are a major part of the education process. Students who participate in activities programs tend to have higher grade point averages, better school attendance and lower dropout rates, and fewer discipline problems. Activity programs provide numerous opportunities to learn valuable lessons of sportsmanship. Here's a big run. The Redskins, LaVon Madden, out to the 30. That'll be a first and 10 liberal. I believe, Ken, if Blue Valley wants to win this ball game, they're going to have to shut that play down. Uh, I have not seen really major adjustments to stop that play. And uh, like I said earlier, uh, why not go to the well when it's been wet all day? So liberal, here's the run by LaVon Madden. You see having a big day, nearly 150 yards. And a liberal redskin is down. And that could possibly be Madden. I believe so, Ken. Well, as you can see, the field appears to look in pretty good shape. This morning when we got here at 8 o'clock, it was still nearly covered with snow from the nearly four inches last night. And they worked on it and worked on it. And now as the temperatures begin to warm, the field is in pretty good plain uh, shape. It's still a little wet, but I'd say now is as good as it has been probably since uh, this time yesterday. LaVon Madden up and slowly off the field with the liberal assistance. I believe, Ken, that he just took a good shot and uh, he's shaking up a little bit. Doesn't look to be like a leg or uh, an arm or something like that. Uh, he did get tackled very hard and hopefully he'll be okay. And as he begins to run off the field, the Redskin fans greet him to the sideline. That's got to make you feel better. Nothing, nothing like high school sports when the fans uh, have driven uh, hundreds of miles from southwest Kansas to northeast Kansas to play for what has turned out to be a fine 5A championship game. Brown wants to pass. Now he has to scramble. And will he go down? No. The 20, 25-yard line. He'll lose about five yards, but it could have been much worse. And a late flag on the play. Maybe a late hit on Blue Valley. really didn't see anything initially, but uh, there is a flag on the field. Referee indicates unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on Blue Valley Stillwell. Well, we'll have a look. Is Blue Valley making uh, perhaps a mental mistake here? 11-11 to play in the ball game. Chris Brown was stopped for a loss of probably five yards. And the decision now is what are the options? So it'll be a break for Liberal, as it came very late, the call did, unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against Blue Valley. And it would look like Liberal would get a first down out of it. I believe so, Ken. Uh, I still haven't indicated uh, what the call's gonna be other than unsportsmanlike, and we don't know what that amounts to. A 15-yard penalty from the spot of the ball, I would guess. And it'll be second down, it's just short. Down is two. Well, they repeated the call, and it is second down and inches. Second and inches would be uh, maybe a good time to put it up. We'll see. Liberal at their own 40. Brown hands off to Jason Dunlap, who's come in the game. And they have the first to 10 after the 45-yard line. I believe that was a counter gap uh, with liberal offense uh, going to the tailback, Jason Dunlap, Ken. Yes, right here. See the guard pulling from the backside, kicking out. Uh, the tight end needs to look up field and uh, find somebody to block instead of turning back. You never want one of your offensive linemen to look back in the backfield. Blue Valley perhaps needs a turnover to get back in this one, and the Redskins need an 11-minute drive to end it. Brown, handoff, Dunlap. And he'll get only a, a, a yard. And it'll be second down and nine as that middle was stepped up by the Blue Valley defense. Go, 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 
Ken, uh, Coach Cornelson has gone to another phase of his offense, and that's the tailback. Tailback has not been used too much uh, up at this time, and uh, maybe with LeVon out that uh, we'll see some other uh, parts of his offense. I'll give him two, second down and eight. Chris Brown, the option quarterback. Chris on the keeper to the right side. He's going to run it to the 50, the 45, the 40, and a hard hit at the 35-yard line down to the 32. What a run and a hit by Chris Brown, the quarterback. Great play by Chris Brown. Uh, I don't believe they pulled anybody this time. Uh, yes, it's just the naked bootleg. Nobody out here. Nobody's pulling. Uh, they're going to put Chris in a one-on-one -on -one situation, and it's, he's way downfield before it ever comes a one-on-one -on -one situation. Valley, a comeback team, as they proved last week. They'll need to do it today. Liberal in the driver's seat at the 32 of Blue Valley. Handoff Madden, who's come back in the contest. He gets to the 30, a gain of two, and that'll be all. Tackle led by Josh Swift. And, Josh. and LeVon Madden still kind of stiff there, Allen, as he comes off the last carry. Seems like he didn't run it with the same authority or the same moves that time, uh, Ken. And he could be uh, hurt uh, slightly, but, you know, if, you're, if it's not a damaging type injury, then, uh, you know, you want your kids to play. And it's, uh, it's, it's one of those suck it up and then get tough type situations, even though you don't want the kid to get hurt physically. And now Madden does go out. Brown on the keeper, and the smart thing, he did not pitch, and just as well, because either he or Dunlap would have been stopped for a loss, and it would have been a dangerous pitch, as you can see right here on the reverse angle. Well, Blue Valley does an excellent job of seeing what the play is and stopping it, and, and you got to credit Chris uh, Brown on, on not making the decision to put the ball on the carpet when you're leading 14 to 10 with nine minutes to go. You don't want to do things that's going to cost you yourself a ball game. But Blue Valley can hold here and force Liberal to hunt the ball away or maybe even try a long field goal. It would be a big uh, momentum builder then for Blue Valley. 8.45 to play. Liberal leads at 14-10. Brown rolls to the right. Looking to throw. He goes downfield incomplete at the 20-yard line. It was intended for Juan Alvarez. Intended for number 27, Juan and it will bring fourth down and nine for Liberal. Well, it's off the bootleg action again. I believe Chris Brown has his receiver one uh, open, but he, he's trying to throw it too perfect that uh, he throws it in the ground. If he just let normal pass, uh, let her go, that he'd be in a pretty good situation. And now a timeout taken by Liberal. We'll take a break. 8.39 to play in the game. Our score, Liberal 14, and Blue Valley 10. Back after this on KUPK TV. For over 10 years, Nichols Fluid Service and Liberal has been providing complete oil field fluid service throughout the area, including salt water disposal, frack tanks, high pressure kill trucks, fresh water, and all types of drilling fluids. Plus, they offer on site full service dirt construction. With 24 hour service, seven days a week, they stand ready to serve you. Nichols Fluid Service, 316 Industrial Park Road in Liberal. For over 50 years, Production Credit Association and the Federal Land Bank Association have offered sound agricultural lending to the southwest Kansas area. PCA offers short and intermediate term financing for farming and ranching operations, big and small. The Federal Land Bank offers long-term real estate loans and rural home financing. Stop by and see Production Credit Association or Federal Land Bank for your financing needs. Production Credit Association and Federal Land Bank with offices in Garden City, Scott City, and Liberal. Here it is, fourth down. Liberal wants to throw, and it'll be incomplete. No flags, and Blue Valley will take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line with 8.33 left to play. And that's more than enough time for Blue Valley, who scored 28 points in nine minutes in the fourth quarter last week. Well, Ken... Uh, Liberal runs a screen. They haven't run one all year long. They have it set up. Chris just uh, does not plant his feet. Uh, if they get it completed, uh, you're going to see a long gain. If not, maybe a score on that situation. That pass intended to uh, Tharman had that pass been completed behind the line of scrimmage, then Tharman could have thrown too. Is that, is yes, that the rule? Yes, sure. That may have been the play, but it just didn't develop. So we'll see. First and 10, Blue Valley at the 31 yard line. 8.33 to play in the game. Blue Valley trails by four points. 
Long count by Schottenheimer. He'll give to Murray, and he goes nowhere. He'll lose a yard. I believe, Ken, that the, uh, the stop is made by Jeff Moen, number 30, another one of the sophomores that uh, knows uh, it was Jacob Fitzgerald, senior linebacker, uh, hasn't played the last couple of years, and came back out this year. Does a great job, reads it real well. Initial stop was by Jeff Moen, number 30, one of the sophomore linebackers. So a lock of one, second down and 11. We're back to live action at the 30-yard line of Blue Valley. They have the ball, but they trail on the scoreboard 14 to 10. 5-2 defense for the Redskins. Schottenheimer has a man open and incomplete. And a penalty flag. It will probably be pass interference on Liberal, but the ball still could have been caught by Josh Swift probably either way. Well, I don't think the Liberal fans are going to like it, but he's definitely riding the back with his right hand, I believe, before the ball gets there. And probably just as well, because had Swift made that catch, and uh, any any step uh, away there by the Liberal defense in uh, Jawan Coleman, and it could have been an easy uh, big game, or possibly even a touchdown for Blue Valley. Now the replay can didn't actually show the contact when the ball was there, but when the ball was almost getting there, I believe his right hand was right in the back and. Uh, of the receiver. The ball was thrown behind Josh Swift, and that may have caused the defense to get there a little bit too soon. Had the ball been thrown on target, it may have been six points anyway, so possibly a break here, even though it was interference for Liberal. Could be. Penalty, as you can see, Liberal, seven for 75 yards. Blue Valley, just 45 yards of penalty. Murray on the right side. Plenty of room, and then stopped by the Redskin defense trying to get to the 50-yard line, and it'll be second down and seven after a gain of three. Well, watch the pursuit here, Alan, as the Redskins are really following the ball. And possibly a reverse might be in order here for Blue Valley. It's a possibility. You, they haven't used, uh, Blue Valley, that is, has not used that play much the second half. And they came back to it, and uh, they got three or four yards out of it. Gain of four, second down and six. Blue Valley trailing by four, 7-10 to go in the game. Murray, no, Schottenheimer to throw. He'll run, and he'll lose a yard. Well, they had a play set up, but Schottenheimer, as he turned around following the fake to Murray, uh, he had defenders all over him. So he'll lose a yard. It'll be third down and seven. Well, you can see right now, uh, Schottenheimer puts the ball on the turf. And that could uh, very well been down right there at that point. Uh, and one thing that created that, liberal linebackers were blitzing and Phil, uh, Jacob Fitzgerald uh, caused the initial uh, reaction of the quarterback to do that. Third and seven, Blue Valley at their own 48. They expect a long count. No, it's a short count by Schottenheimer. Wants to get it all, and first and 10, Blue Valley. And the pass complete to Josh Swift. Stop made by Steve Massey, but not before Blue Valley picks up the first and 10 with 6.20 to play in the game. Well, early in the game, Blue Valley, uh, Ken, uh, wanted to run the out, quick outs. Now they're spreading the liberal defense out and running the first uh, quick looking type routes off of the uh, play action by the quarterback. The only thing we haven't seen today from Schottenheimer has been either a scramble for a big gain or the bomb. Maybe the bomb is in order here. First and 10. 6.15 to play. Blue Valley trailing by four. Murray, he's hit hard at the line of scrimmage and no gain. Maybe a yard. That was an excellent play by the interior line of the liberal defense and the linebackers. Uh, most of the success for Blue Valley has been on the perimeter. And you can see right now the initial stop made by the left end. I believe that's Mike Stegman. Timeout situation. Blue Valley has two remaining. Liberal with one. Blue Valley at the 37-yard line of Liberal. A field goal won't do them any good, really. They trail by four. Five and a half minutes to play in the ballgame. Good rush by Liberal. Here's the pass up for grabs, and it is incomplete. Intended for Matt Vandry and broken up nicely by Liberal, although the ball kind of hovered in there, as you'll see. On the replay, I don't you can't see at this point, but uh, Blue Valley's in a twin set, two receivers out wide right. 
the outside receiver runs a little hook area, and the inside receiver runs a down and out. And if the ball's underthrown, if it's thrown a little bit further, uh, it might have been a complexion, uh, completion. But you got to give credit to the defensive rush of the uh, liberal defense uh, for putting pressure on the quarterback. Great rush by Ryan Rhodes, and then a fine play downfield defensively by Justin Cornelson. It is third down and nine. We're getting into the really big play category now. We're late in the game. Blue Valley with the ball, down by four. Schottenheimer. Boy, good defense that time, but again, good offense. Uh, blocking and the pass downfield incomplete. No flag. Well, it was a good play uh, as far as no flag. There shouldn't have been no flag there. Both receivers went up for the ball. I would have to question whether the ball should have been thrown in that area as well covered as it was. And once again, give credit to the defensive front and the linebackers. Here comes outside linebacker Jacob Fitzgerald and uh, Randy Hoffman putting pressure on the quarterback, making him throw it in an area that he doesn't want to be thrown. Well, it looks like Matt Vandry will go into punt for Blue Valley on fourth and nine at the liberal 37-yard line. Here's the snap, the left footer trying to angle for the sideline, and he'll get it. I think it's inside the five. It is. They say liberal, and they mark it now at the four-yard line. So he did just what the coach said to do. Timeout, 5.20 to play. Blue Valley leads it, for, or rather Liberal leads 14 to 10. Back after this on KUPK TV. Now almost everyone can smile with confidence and eat virtually anything, even though they've lost their natural teeth. Dr. Michael Milford, oral and maxillofacial surgeon, is a specialist in dental implants and has been using this exciting option for over 15 years. Working in conjunction with your local dentist, he can determine if you're a candidate for this attractive and natural alternative to dental restoration. And best of all, your implant can be done in one of Dr. Milford's local offices in Dodge City, Garden City, or Liberal. The Rosal Company, proud supporters of the Liberal Redskins. From Rosal Energy, with over 46 years' experience in oil and gas well drilling, to Rosal Wireline Company, providing perforation and electric well logging, to Rosal Fluid Service for the necessary salt water. Rosal companies provide a complete turnkey drilling program. Rosal Energy, Rosal Wireline Company, and Rosal Fluid Service in Liberal. 5.20 to play in the ballgame. Liberal on top, 14 to 10, leading Blue Valley Stillwell in the fourth quarter. Liberal following a fine punt by Matt Vandry as he angled for the sideline and got it. And went out of bounds at the four-yard line. So Liberal trying to put something together here on the ground. A big gain and a first down on the carry. That's Jason Dunlap. And boy, what a big play for the Liberal Redskins. Once again, a phase of the game that uh, Coach Cornelson hasn't used much of during this course of the game. Uh, counter comeback, gap play, leading the backside guard up the hole. Robbie Glover, 51, does a great job with the block. And then you give the skills of Jason Dunlap the ball, you're going to have some yardage. A major league first down right there as Liberal away from their own four out to the 16-yard line. Handoff to Jason Dunlap, and he has stopped for no gain. Keep in mind now with 4.50 to play in the game that Blue Valley has two timeouts remaining, but they trail 14 to 10. So it looks like, Allen, if the Redskins can pick up maybe three first and tens, Without stopping the clock too often, they might have this ball game, but they're in very dangerous territory right now. Dangerous territory. You don't want to do something that's going to turn the ball over and create an easy score for your opponent. But yes, you'd like to uh, run the clock out, and uh, then they'll never get their hands on the ball. And hope for no mistake. Second down and nine. Brown keeps, wants to roll, and he stays in bounds, and I think he's got the first down. They did not mark him down until he got past what he needed to get to for the first and ten. Well, Ken, once again, Chris Brown is an excellent athlete, and he's showing his skills right here. Uh, a lot of backs will come down in, in this position. He keeps his legs moving. Uh, like I said, never does touch. He's still, look at his legs keep driving for extra yardage. You want your running back, and, and you got to realize that he's a quarterback. Well, but now they, uh, they do mark him down. He is a, about a half a yard shy of the first and ten, but from where he landed, I thought he had the first down. So third down and about the length of the football for Liberal. Brown straight ahead, first down.
So again, Liberal, with two first downs, they have run about a minute and a half off the clock. They need to get at least a couple of more, but keep in mind that Blue Valley has two timeouts remaining. They wind the clock following the move of the chain, first and 10 Liberal. So Ken, through, uh, throughout the course of the year, the offense has been the type that controls the game, and usually you want your defense to do that, but the offense has definitely controlled the game. 3.15 to play, and a penalty. It'll do two things. It'll stop the clock and may move Liberal back five yards. Before the snap, illegal procedure called against the Redskins. You don't want those things to happen at this time, Ken, but, uh, you know, it's unfortunate it did, and we, we'll we see whether the offense can overcome this uh, five-yard penalty. We see a lot of the Garden City fans now gathering on the far sideline today. They'll be moving in as the – it's kind of – they're thankful because the Liberal fans have come in and moved the snow off the stands, and they've warmed the seats up, and now they'll move out, and Garden City will move in. So it'll be kind of thank you very much. Uh, you won the game, perhaps. Uh, we'll see if we can do the same thing for – Garden City fans. That's what neighbors are for, is it not? So liberal. First and 10, or rather first and 15, at their own 22-yard line. The give is to Madden on the left side. Madden cuts it back to the right side. He's got some room, and now he has stopped. No, he still goes, and out across the 30-yard line. Boy, a great job by LaVon Madden. They just keep missing him and missing him, and pretty soon he's going to be gone for 70 more yards. And one thing that uh, Coach Cornelson is chopping his lips, at, lips right now is that he's going to be back for two more years. Here you see the cut up the middle, now to the right side, and LeVon Matt nearly breaks that one for a big one. He got 11 yards. It'll be second down and four. And the clock continues to run. 2.15 left in the game. Now a good stuff by Blue Valley on Jason Dunlap. And a timeout taken by the Tigers. Timeout Blue Valley. 2.11 to play in the game. I keep looking at the scoreboard and I see that Kansas State's leading 14 to 10. But it's actually, it's actually Liberal leading 14 to 10. As you can see here, Liberal keeping the ball on the ground counter gap play once again and this time Blue Valley pretty well takes care of the uh, play. So it'll be third down and five and Blue Valley hoping to stop Liberal here. You know winter in Kansas is filled with a whole bunch of changes. Cold and snow. It's a time to enjoy the excitement of interscholastic activities. Thousands of Kansas high school students need your support and encouragement. The Kansas State High School Activities Association and their member schools present a colorful panorama of thrills and suspense. They invite you to see another part of education come to life through interscholastic activities. And we couldn't ask for a better game today, Alan. No, sir. Not this play coming up right now is one, might be one of the key plays of the game. Third and five, Liberal. They lead 14 to 10. Brown rolls, wants to throw, and he has stopped for a loss, and he'll stay in bounds. And will Blue Valley call a timeout? We have two minutes. The clock's still ticking. So even though he lost about six yards, he did stay in bounds, and Blue Valley now is forced to call a timeout, I believe. They have stopped the clock, so I assume that is the case. The timeout taken by Blue Valley, so they are out of timeout. 1.55 to play in the game. Timeout, Blue Valley. 14 to 10, Liberal leads it. As you can see, Chris Brown trying to stay in bounds, and he does. And so Blue Valley forced to call that timeout. I was thinking earlier, I can't, I don't know if any, any TV station has ever had two back-to-back -back state championship games live on TV. This is probably the first in history with two back-to-back -back championship games, 5A and 6A, and it comes from Liberal and then Garden City coming up. One advantage that even though Blue Valley is down at this moment is they do run a type of offense that is so geared to come from behind in late stages with no timeout. It would be a tough call here, but it would be a great time for a fake. they got ten guys on the line of scrimmage. Blue Valley does. They're going to come at Liberal, and here's the play. You need a good snap. 
Good rush. Nice kick. It's short, but he got the kick away, and it'll go out of bounds, and Blue Valley will take over in outstanding <laughs> field position. Keep in mind, they're out of timeouts. We have 1.49 left to play, and they have a fine, fine quarterback in Brian Schottenheimer. Well, you can just see the nail-biting going on now, Alan, on the far sideline. The Liberal fans thought they had it. It wasn't a, a very good punt. But again, uh, the key here is now, can Blue Valley get the win? Can Liberal hang on for the win? Well, this is what it's all about. The minute 49 to go in the game, and uh, it's coming down to the last tick of the clock to decide who wins. It'll be Brian Schottenheimer. Go! Good rush by Liberal. Here's the outlet pass to the 45. And he'll stay inbound, so the clock will run. Pass completed to Matt Vandry. And you know it's going to be a hurry-up offense here by Blue Valley. Second down and nine. Schottenheimer does have Alan Murray in the backfield, but he's thinking pass all the way, I'm sure. 125 to play in the game. Schottenheimer. A long count. Precious seconds tick away. Schottenheimer throwing. No, pop fake. Now he throws and nearly intercepted by Liberal was not a good pass. The only man who had an opportunity was Steve Massey. Was that pass incomplete and intended for Mike Colell. The Liberal is definitely in a man-to-man -man defense. Uh, they had all defensive backs within seven yards of the line of scrimmage, Ken. Uh, hopefully we don't let somebody, or Liberal don't let somebody get behind them. Uh, they're bringing uh, all their linebackers and their front four on blitzes. Josh Swift goes wide left. He's been a real key man today for Schottenheimer. We'll keep an eye on him for you. Third and nine, Blue Valley still well. Schottenheimer to throw, looking deep over the middle, has a man, and it is complete. Inside the 25-yard line of Liberal. Brought down by Matt Vandery and Blue Valley with 1-10 to play in the game. Excellent class by Brian. Schottenheimer. They wind the clock. Schottenheimer has him at the line already. Schottenheimer throws the ball out of bounds. It'll stop the clock. And he may have had Matt Bentry in the end zone that time had he not intended for the ball out of bounds. Yes, uh, the corner didn't uh, respect the go route on the wide out at that time, but uh, Brian decided that he's going to stop the clock to set up maybe the play that wouldn't turn the ball over for him. So, Blue Valley out of timeouts. They trail 14 to 10. The ball at the Liberal 22-yard line, and the Redskin fans hoping that their high school football team can hang on to this win and win the 5A state championship. It's coming down to the last minute of the ball game. Big rush by Liberal. Schottenheimer throwing to the end zone, and it is incomplete. Excellent rush, Ken, by the uh, front five. Ryan Rhodes, Randy Hoffman. Uh, putting pressure on the quarterback Intended right here for Matt Vandery and he almost comes up with it Brian probably just didn't get to throw the pass in the position that he wanted to because of the, the rush uh, again. one minute to play it's come down to this third and ten Schottenheimer Three wide receivers, wide left. He looks to the right side. He has a man in the end zone. Broken up. Incomplete. Great defensive play by the Redskins. When they have to come through, they do. It's fourth down for Blue Valley. Juwan Coleman, the defensive corner on this side, does a great job uh, knocking the ball down. Once again, a nice pass by Schottenheimer. Uh, excellent play from the secondary of Liberal. Blue Valley taking a lot of time to make the call. And with a long count by Schottenheimer, could be dwindling down to a five-yard penalty here on delay a game. Referee is taking a look at his watch. It's been a long time. This is it. Fourth down. Schottenheimer. Back to pass. He throws it up. It's incomplete. And a penalty flag. Pass interference on Liberal. 49 seconds to play. We've got to keep in mind that the no-catch 
situation whether it's a catchable ball or not doesn't play in high school football. That's only in the pros. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether it's a catchable ball or not. And we'll see. Yeah, there is time. Well, that's a judgment call on the official. We, we can't make those calls. Pass interference. The ball was at the 23 yard line of Liberal. Now let's see where they spot the ball. They'll mark it off from the line of scrimmage. It'll be a 10-yard a penalty, so that should be a first and 10, as they had three incomplete passes. So it's first down and goal to go, or, well, check that, first down and uh, 10 at the 11. So they have a chance for a first down, but just barely. They have 49 seconds to play, and you're going to think here, Alan, four shots at the end zone, I would imagine. Four shots, and if you're a liberal fan, you know that's a hard time, a difficult time to get that type of penalty. First and 10, Blue Valley at the liberal 11-yard line. Schottenheimer wanting to throw up for, oh, almost in, intercepted by liberal. Nobody in the area. That could have been intentional grounding. Well, from right here, Ken, it looks very obvious that there's no receiver in the area. And once again, that comes back to the judgment of the uh, official. Here we see again a, a fine rush by liberal Schottenheimer. Thought he saw somebody in the end zone, but it wasn't his player. It was Jawan Coleman of Liberal. Personally, uh, I don't see anybody around that could have drawn the, the flag and probably should have drawn the flag. Well, time not really a factor now because Blue Valley is just taking shots at the end zone. They have three more. It's second down and 10 at the Liberal 11-yard line. Look for a quicker pass this time. Schottenheimer looking to throw over the middle, and it is caught. It'll be a first down, the ball inside the one yard line. The ball inside the one, it is first and goal. And now look for Murray. Yes, I'm pretty well sure that uh, Murray's gonna get it one crack at it. Schottenheimer throws out of bounds to stop the clock. I'm not sure why, 31 seconds to play. But they wanted time to think it over, so. Well, like you said, Ken, it gives you a chance to regroup, uh, uh, make a good decision on a play that you want, because once again, if you run the ball, the clock doesn't stop. It takes valuable time off the field or off the clock uh, to... Uh, now a timeout taken by Liberal, so we'll have a chance. There you see, what a great catch. I believe that was Vandry inside the one, and the only thing that kept him out of the end zone was Chris Brown. Okay, let's look at it one more time. You see the ball coming loose right at the end of the play, uh, but I believe that he had possession once his uh, knee did hit the ground. Over the middle, good coverage. You can't ask for any better coverage than that. Yes, he has control of it. This is an excellent play by the receiver. 31 seconds left to go in the ball game. You see Gary Cornelson, head coach at Liberal, getting a few words in to one of the officials. You know, it's unfortunate you don't want officials to be involved in winning or losing, you know. We hope this isn't the situation today. Uh, take something away from the ball game. But, uh, you know, basically it's been a clean, hard-fought game between both teams. If the Redskins can keep them out of the end zone here, they have really earned a 5A state victory. 31 seconds left in the game. Blue Valley knocking on the door. They trail it 14 to 10. They have it first down and goal. Schottenheimer to throw. It'll be over the head and incomplete. Intended, I believe, for Reggie Anderson. Our correction, that is Mike Bush, number 33. So a real heads up call by head coach Steve Rampey. The man was down there, but the ball just slightly overthrown. Looks like he's not content in running the ball in this situation with no timeout, that he wants to get in the end zone by throwing the ball. Well, I'm going to put my money right now that they hand it off to Alan Murray. Murray, right side, touchdown, Blue Valley. With 23 seconds to play in the game. A one-yard run by the main man. He did not even play in the ball game last week. And Blue Valley has come to life. Just a power play over tackle. Here we are, two backs, backfield, which we haven't seen much, and the power of Murray gets him into the end zone. Blue Valley. Mike Ross will try the extra point. 
The kick is up. And it is good. So 23 seconds left in the game. And wait a minute, there is a penalty flag on the extra point. 23 seconds remaining. And it's, at this point, a 16 to 14 advantage. There is a flag. Both teams leaving the field to get ready for the kickoff. However, a marker on the play. It appears to be against Liberal, and they'll probably mark it off on the kickoff. As the kick was good. So now the, uh, the question is, Alan, is there enough time to get Liberal down in field goal position into this breeze, uh, or is it uh, touchdown time for the Redskins? Well, that's, you know, this depends how Blue Valley is going to kick the ball. Are they going to kick it deep, give us a chance, or give the Liberal a chance to return the ball? Are they going to keep it on the ground, give up a little bit of field position and play prevent-type defense? Uh, we'll find out here in a few minutes. The penalty was, I believe, unsportsmanlike conduct on Liberal. That'll be a 15-yard penalty. That may have been that may have been on the bench. That's a possibility, as you can see. Head coach Gary Cornelson still upset, and so that'll be a 15-yarder. As they should be marking the penalty off. It's a possibility it could have came from the bench, but I don't know. The referee did throw it in the middle of the field. Most of the time, when it comes from the bench, it's going to be your head lineman or your field judge. But. Uh, with us up here, we really don't know. Okay, now they're saying personal foul. Personal conduct. It looked to me like he just indicated that also a roughing the kicker and unsportsmanlike conduct. So it, either way, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. They'll kick off at the liberal 45-yard line, and I would imagine a squib kick of some sort. Oh, wait a minute. Now we're going to have two. We have roughing the kicker and... Uh, there was two penalties, roughing the kicker and unsportsmanlike conduct. So they mark them both off. And here's something you don't see every day. Blue Valley kicking off from the liberal 30-yard line. I don't know if I've ever seen that before, Ken, in, in my years of coaching. So the ball will have to go 10 yards before Blue Valley can come up with it. But you'd have to think of some play here where they could squib it maybe sideways to give them a chance to get down there. But... Boy, what an unusual sequence of events. Apparently roughing the kicker and then an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. So 30 yards in penalties on the same play. Blue Valley, here's the kick. It is kind of an onside kick, but Liberal will come up with it. It's brought down by Jason McAfee. And the Redskins have a long way to go with 22 seconds to play. Keep in mind, they're a big play team. LeVon Madden had a 70-yard touchdown run earlier in this game. And the Redskins are out of timeout. They wind the clock. 15 seconds to play. Chris Brown, he'll throw. Going downfield, and it is incomplete. Out of bounds, it'll stop the clock with 11 seconds to play. Blue Valley proving today they are a comeback team in the fourth quarter. They beat Pittsburgh two weeks ago, 10 to 7. They were trailing in that game. They were way behind against Highland Park last week, and they scored 28 points in the last nine minutes of that game to win at 28-26. They were trailing here, 14 to 10, and they go ahead on a one-yard run by Murray. This might be the ball game. Brown, as far as he can throw it, five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, nearly picked off, and a penalty flag. Well, it's not the NFL, so it won't be the spot of the foul, but it will have given the opportunity to Liberal, at least for one more play, perhaps. I would think now, Alan, maybe you're thinking of maybe a, a short pass downfield to Dunlap or Madden, at least give them an opportunity to run the ball after the catch. Well, you got two choices. That is one, or once again, go for the Hail Mary type situation. But uh, it's interesting to see what the call is here, because the ball was up for grabs for both teams oh, go yeah. after. You see the liberal receiver was shielded completely out of the play by the Blue Valley defender. So it'll be a 15-yard penalty. Defensive pass interference. 15 yards. First down. And coming up, this will be, barring a penalty on defense, the last play of the game. Chris Brown drops back. All kinds of time looking downfield as far as he can throw it again. 
and it'll be incomplete out of bounds and that is the ball game he did make the catch he did get out of bounds but the clock has run out they only had three seconds to work with and blue valley making their first ever appearance for the state championship game and they win it in a comeback effort late in the game the final score from ksu stadium in manhattan it's blue valley 17 and liberal 14. And quickly, the people from the Kansas State High School Activities Association will be on the field to make the presentation to the 5A state runner-up, the Liberal Redskins, and the champions, the Blue Valley Stillwell Tigers. And a great ball game, Alan, you have to admit, unfortunately for the folks back in southwest Kansas, it turns out to be a gold and white victory and not one for the Liberal Reds. Well, uh, I'm sure the uh, fans of Liberal wanted the victory and, and either team could have come up with that victory uh, but liberal has nothing to hang their heads about they had a great season uh, i think they played beyond the expectations of the preseason uh, thoughts and, and ideas of what was going to happen for them this season and uh, the young men played hard and, and i think as a coach uh, yeah they're going to be disappointed and, and you want them to be disappointed that they didn't win but you still have that sense of pride uh, pride that uh, you did the best you can and uh, there's 30 other teams in class 5a sitting at home and there you see the head coach of the chiefs that's Marty Schottenheimer down on the field congratulating not only his own son and his own teammates of Blue Valley, his son's teammates, but over congratulating Liberal in a fine game. And what an opportunity. There you see the hug from the two Schottenheimers at midfield. Congratulations really to an outstanding effort. To hats off to Blue Valley who come back with the win. And some of the Liberal Ball players still down, still emotionally drained. There you see Jason Dunlap. You know the feelings going on there, Coach. Yes, it's a very difficult moment when you're looking across the field and watching the other team celebrate. Liberal, the only team to score in the third quarter. 17-14 is the final, however, as after the 14-10 edge by liberal blue valley comes through the with the win late in the game a one yard run by alan murray who had over a hundred yards in the first half and now we'll try to pick up if we can the trophy presentation down on the new astro turf at wagner field here at ksu stadium right here on the hash marks jim cheerleaders who present the runner-up trophy to their football teammates and now it'll be the on hand to present the runner-up plaque with mr ray wathier longtime member of the northeast kansas officials association who present the runner-up track plaque to the head coach for liberal jerry cornell center just two losses this year, one in overtime to the number one team in the state, Garden City. And today in the state championship game, 17-14. For Stillwell Blue Valley, present medals to the coaches and And now the same scenario, but this time four of the champions, the Tigers of Blue Valley, as they'll receive their awards from the cheerleaders and then the trophy presentation to this year's state champion in class 5a the blue valley tigers
There's the plaque and a well-deserved trophy. Blue Valley thought their season was over last week as they had nine minutes to play in the fourth quarter, down 26-0. They come back to win at 28-26 on a last-second touchdown run by Brian Schottenheimer. And today, again, a comeback effort by the Blue Valley Tigers, and they take away the title by the score of 17 to 14. So a frustrating loss today for Liberal, but Allen, a fine showing by the Redskins, and again, a fine game here on KUPK. Our thanks to the folks back home who made it possible for us today. McDonald's restaurants in Liberal, Garden City, Dodge City, the National Beef Packing Company, National Carriers Incorporated, and Supreme Feeders Incorporated. Southwest Medical Center, Patrick Well Service Incorporated, the First National Bank, Anadarko Petroleum Corporation of Liberal, Nichols Fluid Service, Bowles Financial Center, Richard A. Farmer, Liberal Bone and Joint Clinic, J.E. Harrington, the Garden City Production Credit Association and the Federal Land Bank, the Rosal Company, Dr. Michael Milford, the Nash Finch Company, Mobile Exploration Producing the U.S. Incorporated, Cargill Incorporated, Panhandle Eastern Pipeline Company, Santana Energy Corporation, National Helium Corporation, and of course, KUPK TV. And again, our thanks today to the uh, folks who have uh, sponsored our uh, rooms and the uh, uh, folks who have put up uh, our, uh, at the uh, Best Western Continental Inn today for providing the necessary arrangements for the crew from KAKE TV in Wichita and of course from KUPK Channel 13, Mr. Lloyd Lunday at the Best Western Continental Inn, also with the hotels in Liberal, the Best Western La Fonda Motel, and the Best Western Jayhawk Hotel in Junction City, and the Best Western Vagabond Motel in Hayes. Thanks to the administrators of Blue Valley Stillwell and Liberal High Schools, everybody here at Kansas State University, and the Kansas State High School Activities Association. So for Alan Haskell, Ken Dean saying so long from Manhattan. Congratulations to Blue Valley. They beat Liberal 17 to 14 for the Class 5A state championship game. live telecast of the 6A state football championship game between Garden City and Lawrence will kick off at approximately 2 o'clock this afternoon here on KUPK. Please stay tuned. Coming up on Studio 22. My granddaddy used to handle snakes at church. Your granddaddy drank strychnine. I guess you could say I had a leg up, but you never was speaking. In Cape Fear, some of Hollywood's biggest stars give a lesson in acting. Matthew? Yeah. You did some acting. I don't remember doing any acting. You don't remember doing any acting? Well, hey, let me refresh your memory. Jessica Lang talks about the movie role of a lifetime and how it's changed her career. Now I'm at peace. <laughs> <laughs> They're your favorite soap stars. It's over. We're over. But how do they feel about each other in real life? Get real. <laughs> Get ready for a revealing look at daytime heartthrobs. I'm living on Easy Street and Guided Maid Boulevard, my brother. Plus, he's a guy who makes his living performing a natural act. Hey, girl! I'm single, and I have a curvature of the spine! In Living Colors, Jim Carrey is busting out with a new special and some advice for kids. Turn your wheel in the direction of the skid.